Hello, my heavenly family. This is your sister Rainbow here. Before I start my message, I want you to hear somebody very special means a whole lot to me, um, who I love so so much in Christ to sing. I won't reveal her identity yet, but please listen. <laughs> So this sister, who has got angelic voice, when I hear her sing, I felt like I am in heaven already. She is a she has got this massive gift, and she has been hiding from all of us. So she sent me this message. She said, "This is just、um, me singing." She made that very casual, and when I heard, I was like, "What?" Why did you not tell me this? So the person who is saying it is our beloved sister Rebecca. Rebecca, yes, sister Rebecca. I mean, I did not know this, and when I was hearing her voice, I was not. I was wow, hallelujah, glory to God. Something so beautiful that is can only come from God. And he has, she has been hiding her talent from us for this long, and I really, really encourage her to 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 use this gift, to use this gift to 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 sing praise songs, worship songs, that will you know I feel so refreshed when I when I'm when when I hear her sing. It's like she is creating the atmosphere of heaven for me. I feel like I'm in heaven, in front of the throne room. Um, so after I heard her sing, I went to praise the Lord, and the Lord speak to my heart. The Lord is saying, she said, he, the Lord, he's saying, he said, I have given each of my children who desire to serve me, to do my will. I has have, have given them a specific tool. For them to harvest my crop, the crop, the eternal craft, and it's very important for us to to realize this gift, to desire this gift, yeah. So we can harvest the wheat more efficiently. So here starts my message that is inspired by Sister Rebecca. Sister Rebecca, she is very shy. She's not like me. So I think.、Um, You know, you have to be comfortable doing these things. You know, I'm not gonna force her to sing in front of everybody. Only if she feel light, to you know, if God gives her the courage to do it. But nevertheless, you know, whatever gift you receive from God, when you use this gift to glorify God, there is the satisfaction, satisfaction, satisfaction. There is the fulfillment. You feel like you are. You were born to do this thing. It's like a, a fish that is swimming in water, a bird that is flying in the sky. You feel free. You feel totally yourself, the best of yourself, and that is, that is what Christ felt on this earth 
even though he hasn't, he don't even have a place to sleep, and he his life was difficult, you know, physically was difficult, persecution, you know, constantly being marked, even before he was crucified, you know, constantly even in danger, have to hide, not even a place to lay, but he. He still lived so joyful. He has this joy, that is fun. That is fun because he said, he said, my food is doing the will of God. He was using the gift of the Spirit, the power working, the power of Spirit to 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 use every gift that his father gave to him to serve the kingdom of God to. To 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 serve God's people, and he found such fulfillment, and this has becoming his constant food, and that is how you can live every day, feel so fulfilled, fulfilled, every day, even though life is hard, but you can still find fulfillment, yeah, and the purpose that God has made you to do, and to find this purpose, you have to ask yourself. What do I truly desire to do? What am I good at, or or alone? And how can I use this gift to serve God? And when you do this, yeah, you start from there. When you do this, you feel this fulfilling. Every day is exciting. Every day your heart is on fire, and you can harvest souls with much greater efficiency. So I'm just gonna start this message by reading. I wrote this down. The Lord desires every single one of His children to use every good gift He has given to us from the Holy Spirit as a tool to harvest and reap the crop of eternal life. The gift He gives to us are like tools we need to harvest crops. Imagine a farmer harvests crops without any tool. A fisherman catches fish without a fish net. They both won't able to make much money at all, cause they are not used the gift, the the gift. Cause they are not using the right tool. The master has given to them, equipped them to do the job that they were called to do. Without without this tool, we can still work in the field, but it will make our job much harder, slower, much less productive. By not finding out what is your specific gift in Christ, the result would be: although you have this desire of serving God, harvest more souls for Him, you often find yourself in frustration. That you spend not so energy and strength, but only harvest little, and you keep get burned out. The Lord, of course, love our effort and passion, but He also wants you to bring the right tool that He has supplied to you, so you can work with great efficiency, without get burned out. Once you find out your own gift. Then you know exactly the will of God for you, specific, specifically just for you, for each body that has has a different job to do. Each body has a different work. Each body, each part of the body, the eyes cannot do what the hand do, yeah, and the mouth. Cannot do what the feet do. We all have different gifts, different job to do different service. But the one who supplies all are the Holy Spirit. And you, when you, when you have the Holy Spirit in, um, within you, and when you have the desire to do the will of God and the Holy Spirit, He will give you this gift, so you can, so you are able to do the will of God, and you are able to, um. Um, you are able to to be the raper, to be the raper of Christ, to rape more, to rape more harvest for Christ before the judgment day comes. This is the whole the 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 the, the overall purpose of every Christian that we are live here to grow, to grow, um, to grow, um, by 
by being renewed by the knowledge of truth every day, yeah. And as we are growing, yeah, we have this desire to serve God to do His will, and our 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 final goal is to harvest souls, yeah, to expand the kingdom of God, um, in this field. There's the the bad seed and the good seed, and as the good seed has already know we are good seed, we want to turn the good seed into. Uh, the bad seed into good seed to expand the kingdom of God. Jesus said the kingdom of God is like a tree, a mustard seed that grows eventually into a big tree. And we have this seed, mustard seed, within us. Yeah, he for he said that the kingdom of God is not of eating or drinking, but it is righteousness, joy, and peace, um, in Holy Spirit. And that is what we want to do. I don't want you to.、Uh, I, my purpose here is to witness what I have experienced. The kingdom of God, this mustard seed, has been growing to me, and I want you to live every day to be fulfilled. And I want you live to every day to to walk in this righteousness, this joy, and this peace. I want you to have a life that is fulfilled in Christ. You know, um. Mm, for our as long as we are here, that is our final goal, to redeem the time and to 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 use the gift that the God has given to you to serve Him and His people. And when you do this, you are so, you you just you you are you are fulfilling your purpose. We all have a purpose. When we are not doing our purpose, we feel lost. But you have a meaning in your life. You know. You know, either we go home tomorrow or next year doesn't matter. But while we are still here, we want to live every day in joy, in peace, in righteousness. We want to live every day to expand the kingdom of God, to 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 make sure this tree expands so much and expand to the whole earth. Yeah, so um, to evolve into to 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 replace the kingdom of flesh into to the kingdom of spirit. Okay. So once you find out your own gift, then you know exactly the will of God for you, specifically just for you. Yeah, for we are all called here to harvest souls. That's the ultimate will of God. That is, if you read First Timothy two chapter two verse two to four, all God's desire is for all people to be saved. And to come to a knowledge of the truth, and that is our ultimate job to do here. That is to 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 contribute to 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 join in this great harvest, so every one of children of God can be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And you can't do that unless you have the knowledge of truth yourself, unless you are saved yourself. So once we have this, then God send us out, send us out as His ambassador, and to expand His kingdom. And、um, so you have the in the parable of the talents, the parable of the talents, um, Matthew twenty five fourteen to thirteen. So um, most of you know this story, yeah. So for um for the the one that um, God gave them this um. Um, gift tenant, and those who didn't bury, but they placed in the bank, so it can can grow more interest for God. And when the Lord says He's very pleased, it's like you're faithful servant, you are not lazy. And so the Lord gave more gift to this this servant, but the other servant is like, Lord, um, uh, I know that you want me to grow good fruit. Um and I know you want even impossible place you want me to you know you want me to try to to grow good fruit but this servant is like he uses as an excuse and he buried his tenant on the ground and when the Lord says it's like you am faithful servant get out get out of my kingdom I am gonna give you the gift for those people who truly desire to serve me to do my will um so um. So those who is using their talent to serve God, does the will of God will be continue be given more, be given more. 
So this is why Jesus said, "My food is to do the my food is to do the will of God and finish His work." So because Jesus continued to desire to do the will of God, yeah, that is why His food is. His father continued give him food. So food, yeah, the spiritual food, yeah. So he's satisfied, yeah. He's satisfied. He's fulfilled. Why he's doing his um mission and on earth. Just as in John um four thirty four, Jesus said, "My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work." Then he told us he is sent here as a sower to plant the seed, the seed of eternal life. Once this seed is planted. He then returned to heaven, proclaim, pro, um, um, reclaim his position as king of heaven and earth. He then sent his Holy Spirit to us to make sure what he has finished on that cross is continued working in his believers who follow him faithfully. For he sent to this world as reaper of the harvest. When we dedicate our life to do the will of God, the Holy Spirit will make sure to keep perform the good work that Christ has started in us until the word of God is fulfilled fully in us. So, the more we use our talent to serve God, the more gift it will be given to us, and we will be keep. Burning through the unlimited supply of the holy oil from heaven, Psalm eighteen twenty eight. You Lord keep my lamp burning, and this holy oil it is Lord Jesus Christ Himself is the gospel is the Lord is your truth that He will keep you burning. When we make God our burning light and fire within, when we make Him to be our Uriah, then we shall serve God tirelessly, never get burned out. But from faith to faith, strength to strength, we shall appear in the city of Zion, and in the end of days, He will use those who He trained for battle. He Who have know how to use this tool to harvest? He will make them into freshen snatch. That is in Isaiah forty one. Yeah, the Lord said first. He said he promised that he will be with us. He will be with us in those difficult times. Um, and but not just that. He has trained us for battle. We will be his tool. We will be his tool to destroy the kingdom of the devil. Yeah, he said he will make us into fresh and snug, new and sharp, with many teeth. It prophesies in the end time God will rise up for Himself His own holy chosen remnant, an army that is making. That is working in the full power of the Holy Spirit. An army has been trained secretly, has learned how to use the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, to expose sin, to destroy darkness, to bring eternal water to thirsty, dying souls, to finally manifest His kingdom unto earth. To prepare the children of God and earth for the great taking over of a new king. So, I just put here. This is um, um, the Lord has been teaching me about His kingdom, the kingdom of God, and so I have been prepared. Um, I've been study. I've been prepared. Uh, this will be my next video. It's gonna be probably quite a few diff. Um, um, take um. In few different part, part one, part two, um, but whatever the Lord gave to me, and、uh, to understand, I want to share with all of you, because the goal here is so you can live every day, um, in righteousness, peace, and joy through the Holy Spirit. That is the goal. While you are doing the will of God, imagine we live every day in righteousness, in full peace and joy. Imagine, I want the. Heaven to come down. It is possible for us to live on earth every day as if we are in heaven already spiritually, because we have the kingdom of God in us. 
and it's how much you want this kingdom of God to take over your life. It is how much you desire. If you desire, then you ask the Lord in faith. And if you ask the Lord, the Lord will give it to you. So ask the Lord today. You can live your day. Yeah, you can ask the Lord to grow this tree within you. This is master seed. So expand so much. So taking over everything. Expand this territory or kingdom of God from you. Starts from you. The children of God and earth for the great taking over of a new king. The taking over. Jesus is coming to take over. And we are here to prepare for the coming of our king. A new kingdom of heaven and earth coming together. A new holy nation that lives by righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Spirit. Romans 14, 17. A kingdom shall last forever. So now comes how to find out your own perfect talent, gift in spirit. So if you read 1 Corinthians 12, yeah, you understand that when you have the Holy Spirit, all you need to do is ask. The God, when you, when you seek God, God will give you the desire, the, the desire of his heart. What he desired to for you to do, what you were made to do. When you have this desire, then you know, like my desire, since ever since I was young, um, I was little. I'm very good. At, I am without everybody taught. I, when I start school, I'm naturally good at writing, naturally good at writing stories, whatever you know. Um, but I'm so bad at math. I'm very good with my uh. Chinese writing and speaking, but very bad with math. I cannot be learned. No matter how long you teach me, I am bad. That is just like you know that. Is, so every one of you, you were born with a gift, but when you were saved, then the Holy Spirit gave you more gift. You know, His God is so generous. He's so good, and the purpose for. For him to give you this gift, you know, you gotta realize realize your role in the body of Christ and your desire. What is your desire? My desire here is actually I was never able to admit this, but now um I realize God wants me to acknowledge the gift He's given to me. Because it's like somebody gave you a gift. You need to acknowledge this gift. In order to find God, to be grateful to God. If you, if God give you a good gift, you're like, I am not worthy. I don't deserve, deserve this gift. And you hide this gift in a cupboard, like it does not exist. While you live every day, and, you know, miserably. That is not the real God. God wants you to acknowledge this gift. He give it to you. He say, I, so, to acknowledge this gift and give glory to God, use this gift to serve God. That is what the Holy Spirit wants. Holy Spirit, He gave you this gift. He wants you to first to realize you have this gift. Yeah? Because you asked for, you desire. He put you the desire in your heart and you, so you can ask the right gift. And when you receive this gift, you need to acknowledge and give thanks to God and then dedicate your life to use this gift to serve God. That is the will of God for you. That is how you live every day. So being feel so fulfilled in Christ, abundant life in Christ. Yeah. Um. So I desire. I always desire. Uh. Ever I get saved. Yeah. Get serious with God. I like to whatever. I love God's word. That's my passion. My passion is His word. His word is everything to me. I love to read His word. I love when he gave me understanding um, and his wisdom. And I have this desire I want to share with everybody. I want them to get it. I want them to get it so they can experience the goodness and the unfailing love of the Lord. So they can live every day, feel free. And that is my desire. And I, I realized that God has given me a gift of teaching, either through writing or through speaking. I am not shy. 
I have this passion that I want to connect with people. I want to speak to the heart. I want to see another soul saved. I want to just be witness to him. Um, and now I acknowledge this gift. God has called me to teach, and、uh, it feels so good. It feels so good. I thank you, Lord. For this gift you gave to me, and I want to use this gift to purely serve you and glorify your name. And I'm asking you to continue give the body of Christ all the gift that they have this you have desired to them to have, so they can do the will of God, so they can use this right tool to harvest the eternal life of crop. So, so we can so we can walk joyfully. Peacefully, righteous in righteousness, to do this harvest before the judgment day comes. That is your purpose, Lord. Thank you. So yes, yes. As the more you desire, all you gotta do is ask. Ask, it will answer. Seek, you will find. Lock the door, he will open the door for you. Ask in faith, if you have not realized this gift yet. Yeah, so it is very important for us to real have this desire first, and、um, and then ask the Lord to give it to you, and、um, and then the very good reason to say what is my gift is to say what is your passion, what is the thing you are good at, yeah, and use that passion, that thing you're good at to serve the Lord. It is that simple. Um. So and、uh, once you find that, you know, one spirit. So, so God has given us the same Spirit with the Holy Spirit, with many different gifts, to support each body part to do different work to serve the body and take care of one another. That's we are what we are here for. Um, but there's something even more important before we, before we get us ourselves out in the field. Yeah, we need to prepare our heart. First, then if you, you know in First Corinthians twelve, if you read after the Lord told you what is the gift of the Spirit, yeah, He then said, but that is something much more, much more, um, um, greater, much more beautiful. That is love, faith, and hope, and the 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 most important one is the secret of love. So as you read that. You know, um, that is what God is saying to you. Yeah, He said all of us should desire the the gift of the Holy Spirit, so we can serve each other, so the whole body can grow up and reach maturity together. So over here, God has given me a lot of understanding here. Reach maturity together. Um.、Mm, so I imagine the kingdom of God. Um.、Mm, Um, I'm imagining the kingdom of God and the eternal life as a wrapped gift. The moment you are saved, yeah, you receive this gift, yeah. But God says, "Wait, don't open it until it's the time I tell you to open." You have already got this gift of eternal life, a kingdom of God, with you know, and it's already given to you all the promises, yeah. If you receive by faith, yeah, and you got it, but God said, "Don't open yet." Live your life. Use this gift to serve me. Wait until all my other children has the same gift. You know your other family. They all receive this gift. Then you op can open this present together. It is like a Christmas. You know you don't just open your present by yourself on your own before Christmas Day. You wait for every other member your family come together, and when you all got your gift in front of you, then the father say, "Okay, children, it is time for you to open your present. Not receive. You received already." When you got baptized, when you saved, truly saved, yeah, you received God's grace through faith. But the the day we are resurrected, the day our Lord comes, is like this day. And now we before rapture, we are working harvest for the first fruit. And in the during in the great tribulation, there's another harvest that is the the wheat harvest, the later harvest. 
Yeah, we are the early fruit, and now what we are working is to get many people to get in the first fruit harvest as possible. Yeah, I don't know for sure, but uh, you know, um, we're not just gonna go home do nothing. I, um, to me, I feel this fire. The Lord want me to do more. Um, so I don't know. How, uh, you can we can see that uh, He is coming. We are living in this season, um, and either we are here or in heaven. Our purpose is to learn how to serve Him. We are here practice to serve Him on earth. So when 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 we're in heaven, we are already good at. Um, so what we are the per people who has already got this gift, yeah. So if you know you have got this gift, then we should live at every day as we have this gift with us already. Even though we cannot open yet, but you have this gift. That is what I want you to realize. You have the Holy Spirit within you. You have heaven within you already, even though your body can still not enjoy the heaven itself. But your spirit, you are there already. You already got this. You just can't open yet. I want you to live every day to have this realization. Yeah. So, um, so yes, the Lord's purpose. So wait until we are all mature, then we can open His presence of eternity. Be resurrected together. That is his goal. You you know, it's not just about you. It's about God and his the whole family. Yeah, coming together and um, encouraging each other, benefit each other through the Holy Spirit. It's not about one person. It's about all of us. But we must have love. Seek love first before everything else. Cause even if you have the right tool. Even if you have plenty to harvest, even if you have the desire to work, if you are not doing it for the right reason with the right motive, attitude, your work will be not counted righteous in front of the God, in front of our Lord. For your work is not by grace, but you did it for the re- probably maybe self righteousness. Um, may what count, what count, what counts is faith expressed through love. In scripture says, faith have to be expressed through love. Galatians five six. Our reason of saving souls must not be on points from God, or out of fear losing our salvation. Or not because you think it's your duty being a Christian, but it must be out of love, that you love and um care another human being.